Hello everybody, welcome back to Torna, the Golden Country, and in this episode, we're going all the way to the capital of Torna, because we gotta go stop Malas before he does something real bad. Your sword swapping fighting style. It's very interesting, you know. It's still quite rough, though. I'm a bit lacking in oomph. It'll take me a while to get it down properly. See, I wasn't actually talking about the power or technique. Oh? What then? That connection you have. Human and blade. It's like a bond of sorts. I just found it curious. An actual... bond? It's like that's how it's supposed to be. Eh, I don't know. It does make sense. Lady Laura is always with Jin. And you almost never find time to practice with me. It's like he's her favorite. Come on, don't say that. I'm an equal opportunities driver. Liar! You're both my partners and very dear to me. There's no favoritism, swear. Are you really sure about that? I think Hayes is a bit jealous. I have been with you longer, after all. You think? All right, then. Starting tomorrow, Hayes gets to take the lead. Good? Wonderful! You don't mind? It's all right by me. Do you remember? The last time we paid a visit to Indol? What did you think? You mean about him? Let's see. In a word, he seemed very human, protecting his heart with a mask of lies. Are you curious what's behind it? Not really. Most humans are like that, aren't they? Cutting to the chase, I see. But I hear his achievements in Indol have been quite grand. The refugee protection policies from last year are his work as well. So a hypocrite, then. Isn't that what you call the type? Quite. I hope that's all he is. He smiled. Did you notice? No. I think... he might actually be enjoying this. What? the world in this state. That's interesting. You felt something was wrong, didn't you? That's why you brought me.
Don't you think they're worth saving? If you think they are, you know you'll have my aid. Even if you disagree? That's not for the likes of me to decide. It's up to you humans. Oh, you mean that time? I remember. What about it? What Minoth said bothered me. I think he was talking about Malos, but his words could just as easily have applied to a Malthus. I suppose. What if all of this is what a Malthus... No. What all of humanity really wants? You don't mean it. Hey. What are we going to do if we defeat Malice anyway? You know. Like I told Hugo, go home and work the land. I didn't get to harvest the Grom rice this year. Well, that might be good enough for you. Hmm? Some others might not be too pleased with that. Hmm. Who is this? Picked him up during a routine core collection. He was one of yours, right? As we discussed, I engaged him as a broker of cores, but no more. What a waste of a human being. That much is hard to deny. What are you driving at? Waste and refuse can have their own uses, I think. The project we spoke of before, I think it may be time to set it in motion. You mean... a blade eater? His strength will grow exponentially. It will dwarf even that of a flesh eater. And you can... control him? Oh, please. Even if we can't, there's no need to worry. After all, this is just a prototype. Sooner or later, the binding will decay and he will die. Hmm. I hear... He's got some connection to this paragon of Torna, you see. He'll prove useful either way. Torna, then? He's on your mind, isn't he? Malos. Not him, but what comes after. So you're trying to take them Melos. Yeah, it was established. That's kind of the whole point. I already sunk the scene in Titan. Can't just sit back and let him destroy the whole of all rest. Of course we can't. He's the Aegis. Can't just go up and try to fight him all on your own. You'd be surprised. <laughs> you can still. In any case, our primary goal is to defend Torna. And if not necessary, to bring Melos to a grisly end. Perhaps we can even convince him to end this peacefully. That's... No... Minoth here is a blade of a Malthus, just like Malos. Sure, he knows far better about our chances than we do. This thing's being realistic. I am being realistic. That is Malos saying the capital is the target. It has to be true. Does he trust him after everything he's done? Yeah, I don't trust a Malthus. He's not a good guy. He's going to act upon the information rather than moving anonymously. It's true. Jo yeah, you already joined. Once you once you do one fight, you're stuck forever. That's how Xenoblade works. You're going to the capital. I assume you're well equipped for the desert. Well equipped, yeah. No, we're not, right? I need to do a quest, yeah. Caused by fungi. There's no harm to blades, but to humans it could be lethal. I heard of this. Forgot. Stop. 
stupid at him. So there's, yeah, there's just a quest back in Aletta. We need tiny carrots. Oh. No, this is just, yeah, I'm dumb. This is a quest we do. Happy to and then we just go to a lot of the, to solve it. What is it? I have all those. I just, yeah, nest extracts. These are easy to get. You just go over here. And you fight these things. I don't expect any surprises. Here we go again. I think I've got to understand you. Great. More of them. Let's be right off. Richard Mines at ease. Look out. Just tell me when. Fair enough. There we go. Come on. 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 Oh, we have this left in there. Oh, there really needs to be a time indicator. Did you ever overcome your fear of you and what? I'm sure I don't know what you're talking about. Aspar, didn't you once tell me about how one Come on, everyone! No slack that was a long time ago. Just forget it. Oh, I'm not gonna. This this one's not gonna die as fast. There's another one over there. I think. We'll be here for a little bit. This is it. Topple. You okay down here? Get it up, Ruby. Okay, there we go. That was painless. Just tell me kinda wish I could kill these things before they used the movements. So have to fight all of these guys. Oh man. Okay, well we've instigated the horde fight. Go for a nice little four. That didn't really do a lot. I toppled him if he showed up. Oh, 
can't, still can't. All right. Oh, it's red. I need that now. I need one more. Okay. Where is the next one? Right there. See if I can burn him down in time. Nope. Emergence. Okay. Here we go. And now we're done. How are you managing there, Hugo? Yeah, just go back to the. Not too tiring for you. The doctor and Letta. No, I'm quite all right. It will take more than this level of fighting to put me down. So here we are. Our journey continues. Madison. Mungo. Prince Adam, when your companion's by your side. Pull the gas. Yeah, yeah. Make the medicine. Finally found it. I need to bear burdens to torn your majesty. Wonderful. They have finally come. Long years spent waiting. What? That never crossed my mind. Where's this coming from? I just see the king. His kind heart. A little too kind at times for us too. But many of his subjects long for decisive and absolute leadership such as the prince could offer. What? What a thing to say. Prince Adam possesses great virtue. What? What's this guy's deal? My capital will only prepare Torna not to take it over. That's a terrible shame. He's not looking at the guy we're talking to. I don't know if you're serious there or not, Mungo, but either way, that kind of talk is on West, at least. What? Interesting. Sorry for sure. Anything's interesting when you can sit back and watch from the sidelines. Cause it's true. I promise to be a little bit more discreet, but my hopes for you from now on. Okay. Well then. A good apothecary. Yeah, make the, make the things. Nice. Cool. And this doesn't matter. You don't even have to use them. It's, it's just a thing in the way. I'm glad to have been of service. Okay. We will go now. Even on familiar ground, we must stay vigilant. Uh, I probably could have fought some of those nests on the way here. Would have eased this bit. That's okay. Last episode is pretty long. I probably shouldn't have done anything to elongate it. This episode will also be long. We have to go all the way to the capital. I think we will meet ourselves with a community lock, so we sh I should be good to just do side quests in between episodes. Very good. We can stay here for the day. Something wrong? No, but this place is familiar somehow. It feels like it anyway. Is it possible you've been here before? I have no memory of it. But still... Um... Maybe you could just have a little walk around. Something might jog your memory. Yeah. Maybe so. Okay. Hyper Village. All we have to do here is just talk to the residents. See what they have to say. It appears that the bridge are finished, yeah. We were a sleepy village to begin with, but after the bridge, a fellow trickle of visitors dried up completely. Glad the bridge is fixed. Say, so you're planning on crossing the desert from here. We're going to rest up in the inn first. Makes sense. Pure kid. Okay. It's been ages since I saw drivers and plates. The village is so small, it's only got two houses and an inn. 
used to be way bigger, but people really don't come by anymore. Since Tio's in, come by and play with me, okay? Hmm. Certainly rare to meet drivers and their blades. You can investigate monsters. Quite a life old lady when traded for it. It's reliable young types being able to tell you someday. Just a visitor here, is this? No, I thought maybe she would be the the uh, time record for unique monsters. Staying at the end now. Hey, you! You wouldn't be Ornelia's former blade, would you? Ornelia? No, I'm... From the Territorial Defense Corps! It is you! What? Oh, I remember him well. Even though I was knee-high to a grasshopper back then. With that sword slung across your back, you were so cool. If you hadn't come when you did, our village would have been... Oh, yes! The house you used to live in is still out there on the outskirts. House? I'll check out the back. Good. How terribly desolate. I heard it's been 90 years, but... What is it? Did you remember something? No, it's nothing. Really? That's too bad. I would have liked to have learnt about the old you. I am... Um... Who I am. I do not change. Uh! Laura, you okay? What happened? Uh, you, you got me right here. My heart's pounding! Huh? But... That... That was such an awesome line! What? Jin, you didn't even realize, did you? Sometimes you'll say something and I'll just swoon. But... I don't think any girl could refuse you. N no, I didn't mean to. Nah, -uh, you're smooth and you know it. Laura, what are you... Good times, smiling faces. It's her, right? Ornelia, here. Yes. Yes, I think it is. Standing next to you, with such a goofy, blissful smile. It has to be, I'm sure of it. Are you...? Hey, we should take a photo. Really? Of us together. Uh, I'm sorry. When did this become a group thing? Me and Jin? Come now, Laura. We all drink from the same well, don't we? That's a wise saying, I think. I don't think that's strictly applicable here. 
You can't have done this in secret anyway. I've never done this before. Feels nice. Your Majesty, if I may say, it's no time for levity. Ijeon, relax. You should be open to new experiences. <sighs> oh, f who did we fall in with here? Okay, ready for the photo? Everyone say, Glarna! There. How long have you been with Adam? Mm, three years, maybe? One year with Mithra. When my village washed away in a flood, Adam was the one that helped us out. Right. So it wasn't the war then? No, it was. Resources were running low, so we stripped the mountain bare. That's what caused the flood. Hey, Laura. You were looking for your mother, right? Did you get separated during the war? If only that were the case. Oh. Uh, there are some things you don't know about me. Uh, things? Mm hmm Oh. Okay. Mother used to work as hired help. When I was about ten, she was working as a maid. That was when Jin came into my life. You were a driver at ten. That's right. Things immediately turned bloody. I had to get out of there in a hurry. Seventeen years later, here I am. Wow, you don't look twenty-seven. I would have said twenty at most. <laughs> hey, flattery will get you everywhere. <laughs> well, just like me and Mick, I guess. Yeah, like plenty of kids out there. That's why I'd like to help, stand by them. Just like Jin always stood by me. It's almost more real than real family. Right, don't you think, Mick? What, no reaction? I'm really trying here, you know. Ah, it's fine. He's smiling on the inside. Well, now, you can tell. Sorta. Of. I see. Well, I'm feeling all inspired now. Just the spirit we'll need if we're going to set this world to rights. Yeah! You can join in, you know. What's that? You don't need to ostracize yourself for being an Aegis. That's not what I'm... I happen to think you've got a lot going for you, you know? <sighs> Should we... Really be bringing the kids along? Are you worried? Hmm. All rest is a dangerous place right now. The war reaches everywhere. I'm sure we can keep them safe in a normal fight. But if. <sighs> Where are you going? I want to speak with Adam. At this time of night? I'll see what he thinks about it. And if his mind is made up, there's still no harm done. Ah! 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 How long have you been there? Hey, what are you doing in my bed? Huh? What are you talking about? Ah! Get out, interloper, monster! Hey, quit it. This is where I sleep. It ain't your bed, lady. Oh. 
Oh, you're such a pain in everyone's bum, you know that, you simpleton! Hey, wait a minute! Calm down, both of you! Ow! Come on, take it down! No, 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 no! What's all the noise? Is something up? Um, it's probably better to sit this one out. Perhaps that's wise. Yeah, maybe I'll just ask him tomorrow. Morning. Ah, uh, um, uh, morning. You're hurt. Are you okay? Uh, yes, I imagine I'll live. Sounded like quite a scene. Yes, well, I was just collateral damage. Before. You said if you met a child in whom you saw something of yourself, you'd want to help them. I don't have the heart to leave them here. I know. And they've got their own concerns. They want to create a place for themselves in this world. At their age, it's remarkable. I think it's on us to see they don't come to harm. Right. And what a charge it is. <laughs> All right, ready for a quick mosey across the desert. Assuming you've all got your medicine, yeah, it's, it's time to rock. We've got some traveling to do. Oh boy. So. This is a desert, right? We're gonna cross a desert. We don't really have to worry that much about things. I don't really think there's much uh, in the desert here. Do I have to do currently? I'm I'm pretty sure it should just be a straight line. Uh, it is a very long straight line, but I hope I don't. I I really don't think there's anything in the way. I can't imagine. I'm also probably super underleveled for what's gonna happen next, but that—that's okay. We made it. Good stuff. Doesn't seem so bad. Okay. I'll, I'll just you know, I'll use campsite, make my way. I'll fight whatever enemies aggro onto me. I'll be fine. We'll be good. From strength to strength. I can still improve. I have to. I believe I've gained a little skill. Ah, okay. There we go. All right, let's go. Yeah, so this is a big old desert. Is that yeah it's a little bit bigger than the, than the previous area a little bit more open we're not gonna do a whole lot here most of what content this place has to offer is just side quests I'm not gonna do a whole lot of those on camera a lot of the quests that you get in the capital you can come out here oh that was a, oh crap it's one of those and some of that was Laura using her talent art. I might switch back to Laura. I, we're not very strong. Um, and having every fight be open with Laura, having her health probably isn't great. Okay, there we go. Easy fix. You're coming with me, treasure. Hey. 
Oh, that's a spider. I don't think I can fight this guy. Ow! Yeah, we gotta got go. Come on. Give up. Give up. There we go. If I can fight just this Google. Probably can't do the horde. But this one I can definitely fight easily. The experience you get from... Uh-oh. From the... Random enemies in this game is a little bit better than in the main base game. It's still not amazing, but it's, it's better than nothing. Uh oh. Yeah, let's go. I picked the fight. That was a really poor choice. That's a, that's a bad idea. Ooh, okay. Uh, note to self: Don't fight those guys. That's that was, that's bad. I wonder what level Malos is. Sorry. Oh no. <laughs> I think there's something in my eye. Yeah, this could go poorly. Yeah, look at the the capital, with weird green pillars. Everything here is green. This is the green place. That's not right. What's not right? This Titan. Why isn't it in its real form? You noticed. What do you mean? That isn't the original form of the Torn and Titan. In ancient times, the Torn and Titan held awesome power. Torna made use of that power to dominate all the rest for a thousand years. But the power was shut away in the reign of Electos I. Since then, the Titan has looked like this. See that glowing sphere in the castle tower? That forms the seal. Is that what Malus is aiming for? Why would he do that? Wouldn't it be a threat to him too? Truthfully, I don't know myself. But in any case, if he makes a move for it, it is clear what we must do. Agreed. You can see the palace in the distance. We should head there first. Offer our report to His Majesty. All right, the torn and capital. So despite there being a gate there, we can't use it. You gotta go the long way. Cause I wanna show you everything. I'm buying core chips. I don't know how under leveled I'm gonna be. So we're gonna, we're gonna, oh no, I did not have money for this. Uh oh. That's not good. Um, so power up my main attackers 
Okay, at least that's this is this is the one that's auto equipped on Mina. That's good. Yikes. This one I'm looking for the blocker, right? Yee. Okay. Okay, that should hopefully get better in a little bit. Probably after this episode, I'll, um, I'll end up making money. We're doing a bunch of side quests. Cause I, I think after this Malos fight is when you get locked via the community. I'll just do whatever quests I have available to me. For now, um, will see how this so goes. Could be horribly. Um, hopefully not. Oh man. I'm worried about fighting Malus. Chris, they're about to yeah, the blah blah blah. Get get inside. We already know all this stuff. We're having a meeting. We gotta get the heck out of here. Malos aims for the seal? Yes. He draws ever closer to the capital. Leaving destruction in his wake. Our path here was littered with the wounds of his procession, my lord. So, the quester's report was true. Noble Hugo. At this time of grave peril, you have afforded us your trusty aid. Your due will be our eternal thanks. I'm scarcely worthy of it, Your Majesty. As the Titans breathe, I merely followed Prince Adam against the peril we face. In truth, it is to him that your kind praise is due. Ah, the trust of the dread Ardanian throne. Tis a much valued gift to our young scion of Eletta. Mark it well. It gladdens me. Your most noble honors pierce my unworthy heart, my lord. Begging your pardon, lord, would that honor were the only currency in this grave business. An armed band transgressed the sacred boundaries of the capital without regal assent. The act merits bitter punishment. Suppose you that our soldiers can subdue Malos alone? I... I don't... Indeed. The army of resistance fearlessly dashes to our nation's aid. They tremble not in the face of the mightiest of foes. To punish them is unthinkable. Yes, but... Zeta, what does not bend only breaks. We must suffer to Adam his just bounty. I hereby enfeef you as Lord of Heblin. This is too much for me, my lord. First, I must busy myself with the command of the Resistance Force. We can't allow Malos to take the seal. I'd be much obliged if you could grant permission for the Resistance to move freely within your lands, Lord. As you wish. Brave soldiers of Torna, hear your king. Our country must make its own sacrifice to halt the terrible power of the Aegis. Indul II pledges its flesh and blood to the cause. I humbly confess that it was my own lack of foresight which brought us to this pass. My brother, or rather, my lord, what is your aim? Why give Heblin to Adam? He has declined our offer. Perhaps our good wishes suffice. Yet still he holds all the power. He makes allies of foreign lords without permission and gathers together a fighting force. <sighs> Zeta, my brother, hear me well. The sickened world rests heavy upon my crown, I fear too heavy for my mortal neck. Ma majesty And this disorderly throne 
is more apt for one such as Adam. Brother, you mean to set my birthright on the caitiff's shoulders? Oh, okay. Finally breathe, we're out of there. Strong, get asthma or something? Sorry, there's no need for concern. Lady Laura gets like this when she has to deal with formal situations. She's just uncomfortable. It's not ideal. You want to talk? You've been waiting outside the whole time, just idling by yourself. It's so selfish. Can also slack, Laura. I mean, this has good intentions not to go, especially his least favorite individual was attending. <laughs> it's Malthus, don't you? Sorry, I didn't. It's fine. I'm a coward, I'll admit it. Should endeavor to make sure that I Minas mean, steers clear of the quest in the future. Spot him. What's our next course of action? Maybe warn them in time, but there's no telling when Malos might launch his attack. Indeed. We'd start by taking a stroll around the city and seeing what the residents have to say. Can't be serious. Malos is virtually breathing down your necks and you want to waste time catching up? That's not what it is. I'm going to get to lay the land too and get an idea of the overall mood. He's right. Establishing a good rapport with the residents will give us an edge when the time comes. Perhaps the Aegis feels that she can handle the situation all on her own. Fine, whatever. You're better than me, so go ahead. Bunch of bullies. We're not saying it to be mean, Mithra. Well, I have to make concessions, and I think even you understand how you've really matured, you know. I suppose to take that as a compliment? You should. I've been looking after you this whole time. You know he's been honest. Agreed. Shake this praise at face value. Nice. Okay, this right here, then, is the community check. Explore Oresco, Aletta, and Gormont. It's all various people's issues to raise community to level 2. That's my goal for next episode, everybody. Look at all this stuff I've got to do. I guess I'll see y'all next episode. Well, I have done like pretty much every side quest available to me. I'll probably be higher leveled and we'll have bought some decent core chips. Be ready to, to fight Malas and, and go for a while, I guess. We don't have we don't have that many episodes left. This'll be this'll be interesting. See you later.